Welcome everybody to the Dynamic Billiard European Pool Championships here, live from Tampere, Finland. What a final we have here. Denis Laskowski from Germany is up against Mateusz Nagoczki from Poland. We're going to be covering that match here on the main TV table. Of course, there are four finals in progress here. So we might see a little bit of the others there, Mateusz. Going for gold here. Poland very strong. Of course, they have in the women's division Olivia Zalewska. There you see Denis Laskowski from Germany. They won the lag. This is a race to eight and it's alternate break. And it's eight ball. Here we go. The final. Good break there from Dennis. Nice start for the young man from Germany. I think it's Dennis's first year in the adult division. Been a very strong junior. Of course, Matthias, a bit of a veteran when it comes to these tournaments. Established player. If you're unfamiliar with the eight ball rules, you have solids and stripes. So the solids are the numbers one to seven, stripes nine to 15, and the black eight ball, that's the most important, but you have to clear your own. Colors first, and Dennis choosing the solids or the low numbers. Once he's cleared, all of those is on the eight ball. This is a call shot game, so no luck involved really. Total skill, they have to call the pocket where they want their object ball to go. Of course, the real obvious ones, it's uh, understanding that it's pretty clear. For example, if he tries to take the one ball now, it's clear he's going into that pocket. But if for some unknown reason, he goes into another pocket, the referee will not allow that. Has to go to the pocket they call. You might hear the players call in the pocket. It is a bit of a habit. Probably always better to do so. And Dennis with four of the solids to take care of before he gets to the eight ball. We're looking to take the three, then the green six, which is down the bottom rail, leave himself with the brown seven, which will give him position for the eight. We've got a little straight, not a problem though. You see there the line of the brown seven. I want the cue ball to take place of that seven. Oh, he's gone a little bit to the rail. That's, uh, he really wanted that straight because he can just kill the cue ball and he's on the eight. I think from that angle, he might have to bump the cue ball into the blue stripe there, keep position. Oh no, not needed. Nicely onto the eight ball. And one nil for the young German. Nice break and run. Some people talk about eight ball as an easy discipline or easiest of the four main disciplines played 
here at the EPPF. We play eight ball, nine ball, ten ball, and continuous pool or straight pool. Difference in ten ball and nine ball, of course, is you have to play in number order. Or eight ball, you have a choice. And sometimes for the players that can also be a little bit distracting sometimes. You generally see a pattern or the road map that you want to take. A little positional error. You still have a choice. Rack two. This is a race to eight. Alternate break. Matteo Stengocci to break off. Trailing one nil. Now he has made a couple of balls off the break. Already coming down to eliminate that little problem. The 13 and the 5. Or is that the 12 and 5? Very difficult to see from here. But his stripe ball. So now table open. Come at the house. All that level. I just look in there because taking the Brown 15 there, the stripe, doesn't want to bump into the eight ball, doesn't want to push it on side rail because then it's his one ball, is blocking the path to the corner, wants to avoid, and he has. Nicely done. See there, didn't really want to bump into that eight, push it on the side, that would have been a problem. We can take this stripe down the side rail, come across. Avoid the blue two. We'll be out in the middle for the red 11. Nicely done. A little drawback, and he'll take the eight ball to the same pocket. All square, 1-1. One, one. Both players making a nice break and run. Matthias having a little bit more work to do on the table there than Dennis did. A couple of little situations he had to be careful of, take care of. That being one of them. Nice crowd we have in here this evening. Been supported very well here in Finland. A lot of advertising around the city, of course, on the TV. Did help a lot when Finland's Kim Larksonen won the straight ball competition, the first discipline of these European Championships. 11 days in total of high class action. Poland very well represented here and of course at every event they've been working a lot with the schools in poland the education system so they're bringing out a lot of talent it's a bit like a conveyor belt over there keep churning out some top players and germany another strong nation too a lot of youngsters coming through and there's a few more still to come Felix Vogel is one of them. 
Very bright future. Dennis Laskowski breaks off rack number three. Oh, there's a dry break now. A chance for Mateos to steal a rack here. You think smashing into that rack on 15 balls, spinning around the table, something has to drop, but it's not always the case. Not entirely happy with a position there. Needed to stay down there, take care of the green stripe. I don't think he's come up table enough for where he really wanted. Of course, he can still see the pop, but he'll be moving this two ball. That's always a little bit of a risk collisions with other balls can really mess up your own plan. Oh, he's missed, misjudged that nine ball. Big mistake there. A clear mistake, that was great camera view. You could see the shot left exactly where he aimed. There you see the first stop. That's the one. Big, big mistake there from Mateus. Time. Extension. Extension call. You can just hear a referee calling time. These players are on a shot clock, as all the tables are. 35 seconds the players have to execute the shot. They do have one extension per rack, and that allows them another 25 seconds. But after that, it's a 35 second. Referee calls time at 25, which then informs the players they have 10 seconds to get that cue ball moving. A referee will call time as well, even if the player is down on the shot. I think he might want to take this one ball first and draw back maybe then the three. There's the orange, the orange five on the rail, on the top. Pink four is in the middle of the table. Yeah, so there's three ball next. Then to the orange five. He's got to leave himself. Oh, he's going for the six now. Maybe a better move. Just looking there, wants to keep on the side rail there, just to send the four down to this bottom corner. On the left as we look at it, it'll be straight on to that eight ball. Dennis makes it 2-1. I bet he thought after his dry break that uh, Mateusz will capitalise on that, but a big, big mistake from the Polishman. Playing that nine ball, hitting the centre pocket knuckle and allows Dennis back to the table. He made good 
work. Clearing those solids. He's in a 2-1 lead. Just looking at the other scores for you. I'll bring them shortly. As we see here, rack number four, Matthias Nagoshi breaking off trailing 2 1. Race to eight for the gold medal. And a dry break from Matthias now. Well, both players starting off with a nice break and run. And they've both followed it up with a dry break. Can Dennis capitalise on this one? Mateus had the chance, last rack. He let it escape. What will Dennis do? Five ball to the corner pocket. Nicely taken. Always a little bit of added pressure on the first shot. You need to pocket the ball to be on the colour or the solids or stripes that you choose. So a little bit of added pressure there. But it does mean you have control of the table. You can start planning your route. Just looking around there, of course, we have the women's final. That's over on table number three. Had a straight ball European champion from Germany, Tina Vogelman, is leading the Polish talented Olivia Zaleska. Yeah, I think you hear a little bit of applause from the Finnish crowd there as Yoni Dati levels his match up 1 1 with his arch rival from Sweden, Henrik Larsson. And in the under 23s, another German doing well there. New Moderna is 2-0 up against Norway's Emil Andre Gangflot. We're here. Extension pole. In the men's final. Always oh, missed. The nerves are getting to him as we switch there to see the women's match. Olivia Zalewska tying her match up 2 2. She's playing Tina Volgerman, but a big mistake there 
from the young German here. Matthäus will be seriously thinking about the orange stripe there, just between the eight and the six. He hasn't got the pocket to the corner because of the three and the one ball. He hasn't really got a shot to the other corner because of the eight ball. So he's going to have to do something. Time. Extension call. So Matthias using his extension. You hear time going around on all the other tables. Matthias using both extensions, one for the time and one for his cue. And he's not happy with the result. He's trying to seek the path to get a good position because that is a problem ball for him. Just let the cue ball travel through here. Maybe just drop him behind. He can take it to the top corner while he decides to bump it. That's always a little tricky. He's actually moved the eight ball. A little bit closer to the three and one. Not sure if there's a gap there, though. We'll find out soon. Well, actually, looks like there is a gap there. But he hasn't got a shot on the orange 13, so he's going to have to go up table again now. Time. Now you're going to let the cue ball now travel forward, try and get a good position. Down behind the 13. Corner pockets and the centre pocket available. Oh, he's left himself square. That's all due to the fact that he hasn't really got control of the table yet. He's been playing some real tough shots. Having to bump in to other object balls, therefore making it a little bit tougher. Oh, that was well held. And Matthias Stogowski takes that rack. Scores now 2-2. Two, two. That was the miss from Dennis. Trying to force the issue there to get back round for the red. Took his eye off the ball, missed the pot completely. And that was a good shot from Theos. Get down there for that orange 13. So it now becomes a race to six for the gold medal. And the European title. Let's see our referee, Dogai Tantura, just setting up rack. If you're wondering why are they not using a triangle, all the tables are actually tapped. A little divot is imprinted or implanted into the uh, cloth there, and the balls all fall together very nicely, making it an equal rack for both players. Using a triangle, you can get some discrepancies. As we watch rack number five, Denis Lovskowski from Germany breaking off. That's a better break. Oh, cue ball's fine as well.
You know, you hear the cheers in the background, presuming that the only daddy has taken a 2-1 lead, and he has over Sweden's Henry Glassen. And Dennis here. Just got the two ball. Come out for the eight ball. And he'll have a 3-2 lead himself. And he does, 3-2. Denis Laskowski leads in this final of the Dynamic Billiard European Championships eight ball. He's playing Poland's Mateusz Nagoski. It's a race to eight. Gold medal and the bragging rights at stake. And of course, nice to go back to your sponsors and tell them you're a creme de la creme, you've got a gold medal. It'll be a great achievement for the young man. He has a lot of experience down in the junior division. The German Billiard Federation see a lot of promise in the young man, elevating him up to the adult team. And another German in the women's division, Tina Volgerman, over on table three, has got a 3-2 lead over Poland's Olivia Zalewska. So Germany-Poland match all going the way of the Germans at the moment. Break again from Matthäus. Making a couple of solid balls off of the break. I made a ball off of the break there, just counted. And again, just because Matthäus makes a solid off the break, doesn't mean he has to go for him. He can choose. Once chosen, that's it. He's on stripes now, all the high numbers. Matthäus just bumping into the six. You're just a little bit out of position here. Ideally, bypass the six, he would have had the 13 and the 11 prior to the nine. Has to change routes. Plan B. He's got the 11 and the 13. Snigoski levels the score up 3-3 three, three now. Giving nothing away, matching the young German shot by shot. Around the other tables there, table four in the under 23 division. Germany's Jumoderna is 3 0 up against Norway's Emil Andre Gangflot. Dina Volgerman still 3 2 in the lead against Olivia Zalewska. Larsen against Dati. Dati, the Finnish 
Holp here is leading two games to one. And of course here, all square 3-3. Three, three. Tips there. Different styles of cue, one for breaking and one for playing. These top players will have several cues in their bag. They'll also, some of them have a separate jumping cue as well. Specially designed for the task. Quite a contrast nowadays with the carbon fiber shafts compared to the older days it's all wood the youngsters get used to the carbon you give them a piece of wood and some of them struggle Showing a lot of confidence, actually. Quite impressed with the young man. Has got some good trainers behind him. The coach is here, Gunter Geisen and Ralph Eckert. Both decent players. Of course, coaches as well. As Dennis takes eight ball for a 4-3 lead. Halfway there, gold medal is within touching distance. The women are all square. Poland's Olivia Zalewska just pulled one back there. 3-3 three, three against Germany's Tina Bogerman. Norway's Emil Andre Gangflot has got one on the board. Now trailing Germany's Juma Derna, three games to one. And Finland's Joni Datti. Still got a 2-1 lead over Sweden's Henrik Larsson. That's in the wheelchair division over on table two. And we're back here. For rack number eight.
like this. Just looking there, but he didn't like the outcome. I think it was the only ball actually dropping. The outcome he doesn't really like, the cluster down the bottom. You've got the three and the four close together. So he's electing to go for stripes. Ball very difficult to tell what's in the player's head. No point in trying to point out the route because there are several. All depends about your control of the cue ball. Round 15. And he's missed again. A big mistake there from Mateos. But will he get punished? hitting the knuckle heavily. I've been watching all the way through. He had a similar shot, but to the center pocket. Just took his eye off the shot. Allows Dennis now. Can he capitalize on Matthias' mistake? Germany taking a 4-3 lead now over Poland's Olivia Zaleska. That is a race to six that match. So Tina a couple of away from double gold here in Tampere. She already took the straight pool gold medal, first discipline of the European Championships. Veronica Ivanovskaya took the 10 ball a couple of nights back. Is it going to be a German clean sweep so far? Still got the nine ball to come. Germany looking very, very strong in the women's division, especially not doing too bad in the men's and the under 23s either. Juma Derna in the under 23s now with a 4 1 lead over Emil Andre Gangflot. Of course, here, Dennis at the table with a 4 3 lead. Could make it 5 3. Still a rack off of Matthias's break. That's a big, big swing, if he can do it. That's a big swing, because he's got a 4-3 lead. Takes this, it'll be 5-3, and it'll be breaking next. He could get on the hill. He's got to take care of this blue two and the eight ball first. We won't get ahead of ourselves. Still a bit of work. Well, that was pretty well judged. Using a stripe just to hold the cue ball. Sort of a tougher eight ball, though. Then pockets start shrinking when you're getting closer to the end. And Dennis doesn't make no mistake here. 5-3 for the young German. Race to eight. 
Then he's up breaking next, but Mateus has got to stop their mistakes. It's a couple of times now, unforced errors. He's allowing the young German to take control here. It's all square in the wheelchair division. Sweden's Henrik Larsson has pulled one back, 2-2 two, two over there. The wheelchair have a race to five. Always been an epic battle between Joni and Henrik. Arch rivals for many, many years. But it's good to see other countries coming through now and taking some titles. And the tempo, Slovenia's Matej Plakovic wins the first gold actually for Slovenia all together. So very nice to see many other countries taking part in the wheelchair division too. Denis Laskowski breaking off in rack number nine, five three leading. And a dry break. Wow. That's a really nice spread. Again, his positional play is letting him down here. He really didn't want to bump in to the 15. It's made the 9 and 15 a little bit tough. He's got the red 11 stripe there that he can use to open him up, but didn't need the extra work. He's aiming for that gap or to leave the cue ball to fit through the gap to take the green 14. That is a real risky shot. He really wants to get out down the side rail. Take the 15 down the side. He can do a little bit more from there. Yeah, that's a better route. The 11 does go past the brown stripe to the corner pocket. That'll be a good option. At the same time, if he gets position, that he can take the brown 15 before that. It just depends where he leaves the cue ball here. He's got the 11 as a backup. Okay, so I'll take the 11, just let the cue ball nudge the eight ball. That'll be on the nine. Thing is, he doesn't want the eight ball going anywhere near the green six. Oh, he's kept it out a little bit in the open, but he's reduced the amount of pockets that he can play with there, as you see. Making real hard work of this rack here. Matej Stengoski. Doesn't want to touch the six. Wants to go higher than that. Got to be careful to send a pocket though. That's good. Got a shot on the eight to reduce the deficit.
And he does. Trails now by five games to four over the young German, Dennis Laskowski. Made really hard work of that. Got out of position a couple of times, bumping into different balls. Really makes the running of the racks difficult. This was the tricky one as well. And he was really egging that eight ball on to get past the six. If you saw his body language, he was trying to push it with his thoughts. Both players showing a lot of skill. A few mistakes creep in. It was unfortunate there for Dennis that he got a dry break then. Matthias making a ball off the break, but the cue ball got a little bit stuck with the nine ball there. Don't think he can see the two. He cannot. So you're going to have to take a real difficult shot. I think the one, the yellow one, is being blocked to the corner pocket by the blue ten. So he's going to have to try and work something out. Everything seems to be blocked by another shot. Five and seven, awkward. Third symbol, corner pocket. It's called the 13. <coughs> extension call. So Matthias using his extension, he did call the corner pocket. shot but has he got the reward he I think he has you can see the pink 14 still got a problem up there because the blue too solid there it's a bit of a blocker there's got three strike balls up the top on the cushion I mean he's making a bit of face there but I don't think he could have done too much more He's got the gap. He didn't really want to be bumping in and moving the 11 like that, but he has got a gap there. Now for that 15, I'm not sure if he can take the 10, but one of the two, he's got a shot on to the corner pocket. And I got rid of the eight boys a little bit shaking hand there. I mean, he's got the eight out in the open, but look at the cue ball. He's going to be bridging over the red three there. And 
And he's still got to try and get a good position for his next object ball, the red 11. On a stripe 11. And he's done well. This eight ball to tie the match up 5 5 for Matthias. Oh, that is okay. Cue ball stays on table 5 5. This now is a race to three for the gold medal. Timeout. There's a timeout there, I think, from Denis Laskowski. As Finland's Joni Datti. Takes a 3-2 lead against Sweden's Henry Glasson. That's over on table number two. All square in the women's division. 4-4 between Germany's Tina Volgerman and Poland's Olivia Zalewska. Emil Andre Gangflot in the under-23s. Over on table four is trailing Germany's Juma Derner. Two games to five. As we see Tina Volgerman pod the ball there for a 5-4 lead over Poland's Olivia Zalewska. That is a race to six, so she's on the hill. Needs one more for the gold medal. As you see our referee, Vladislav, just putting in scores. Here we are, table number four. Eight balls everywhere. Emil Andre Gangflot pulls another one back, trailing now three games to five against Juma Derna. It was an eight ball fest. If you have just joined us, welcome to the Dynamic Billiard European Pool Championships here in Tampere, Finland. See there a timeout for the player, Matthias Snegocci. Players have a five-minute break. That allows them to go and get a bit of fresh air or visit the restroom. As Dennis Laskowski sits in his chair, hanging on. Dennis is up next to break. He won the lag, so he does have the advantage. If this match goes to a hill-hill thriller, Dennis will have the final say on the breaking. And that's the importance of winning the lag. There you have the 10 ball European champion, Veronica Ivanovskaya on the right. Kim Witzel just next to her. And some lovely people who come in to watch. There's a nice crowd here in Finland, quite impressed. It's even more so when there's more Finn players there, but hey, we cannot put them in a final. They've got to earn it. We see Yuma Derna there breaking off in the under 23 division. He's leading 5 3 there. So he's got a couple of racks advantage. Denis Laskowski, rack 11. And he has made a couple of balls off the break. Three at least have gone in. Very good and solid break there from the German. I just got to choose the solids or stripes that he prefers or sees the easiest way. He judged that well. He really didn't want to be bumping in to the 14 there. 
Got a couple of sol uh, stripes to the centre pocket here. Choose one of those. The 14 does go to the corner there. Where Dennis is leaning over. Time. Bit of a dilemma for him here, though, because he's got the nine up the other end. He has to take care of the 14, which is next to the eight. Don't really want to leave that to the last shot. i have to think, which is it, which end? You go up to the nine, take the 11, then the 14. Makes it difficult to get back for the nine. Still got the 13, the orange 13 down by the corner. It's a bit of a banker there for him. Close to the corner pocket. And now he should be really looking at that pink 14, which is next to the eight ball. Oh, changing, going to the 11. said earlier in the match no point in trying to give them a route plan there's so many options available Dennis Raskowski, a 6-5 lead now over Mateusz Raskowski. Snajkowski. Did work that rack out well, planned to precision. <coughs> and Norway's Emil Ang Andre Gangflot is clawing his way back into the under 23 match. Now trailing Germany's Juma Derna four games to five. It was 4 1 down, 5 2 down. It's now 5 4. Henrik Larsson at the table. Always an epic battle between Yoni Datti and Henrik Larsson. For many years, they've been going head to head. And that is not a good time for Matthias to come up dry there. run out here just trying to look what could be better but you got the nine and the two up on the top rail there oh, Dennis taking the stripes I think you want to try and get up and nudge that two out of the way or the nine even well, he's okay because he's still got a shot on the blue ten as well even though the blue Two creeps up behind 
think the nine does go past the seven ball. It's going to be difficult getting position there. And I think Tina Volgerman has just won another rack and the gold medal in the women's division. Double gold for the, young, for the German lady. Tina Volgerman winning the straight ball. Now she's won the eight ball. That's Olivia taking the applause. And Tina Volgerman, another gold medal. Having one of her best ever European championships. She's always been thereabouts. But a couple of golds here in Tampere, Finland. Great opportunity now for the young German to get himself on the hill. He will be breaking in the next rack. We've got five balls here to take care of first. Not easy here, actually. A little bit straight on the red striped 11. Tricky to get a good position on the 15 ball there, the brown one. Digging deep. Nicely done. Only shot available. He's executed it perfectly. It does look like he's going to go to the other pocket with the eight ball. So he's got to put a bit of English on the cue ball. I'm not sure if a tight squeeze to get it past the four, but it does go. But chooses. Two rail positional for the eight ball. This to get on the hill. And Dennis Laskowski in the lead. Seven games to five. Needs one more for the title. And he's up next, breaking. Can he close the match out? Claim his first men's gold medal. The Germans are renowned for some great players, but especially eight ball. Seems to be a discipline that they really excel in. We have the likes of Torsten Holman, Ralph Souquet, Oliver Ortman, Thomas Enger, the list goes on and on. A former European champions in eight ball. I wonder what's going through his mind. He's one rack away from the gold medal. Little cheer there 
from his German compatriots. The ball's down, so he's in control. thought going into this because of the nine ball that's behind the eight that seems to be the issue and then a good shot on the solids will help him out here nine ball no longer an issue the stripes was looking prettier apart from that nine ball See just behind the front seat spectators, the German coaches in a line, Ralph Eckert, and behind him, Gunter Geisen. I bet they are so excited, nervous, more to the point. <coughs> One of their young guns is maturing. Extension call. So, I think Dennis Oskowski there using his extension. Just take a bit of the pressure off. And this eight ball for the title. Denis Laskowski takes the title here in eight ball division. What a great match. A lot of composure. I think there's almost tears coming. What a great achievement for the young German. Matthias Snagowski has to settle for silver medal. Made a few errors in this match, which allowed Dennis yeah, allowed Dennis this chance. He took the eight ball. He's a happy young man. So are his coaches. I bet he can't believe it. <laughs> very, very pleased for you. Some great shooting there. I think here they go. 
Piafila, one of the first to congratulate him. And there's Gunter Geisen, very, very proud man. Luca Men. You'll have to excuse that name, sorry. And uh, Veronica Ivanovskaya Kimwitzel, the Germans coming down. And Ralph Eckert, the last. As we switch now to the wheelchair division, Finland's only hope of a gold medal here in this discipline. The only daddy taking on this man here, Sweden's Henrik Larsson. Henrik Larsson is trailing two games to four, so he cannot afford any mistakes. This is a race to five, this match. There, you see the Swedish delegation. Henrik and Yoni been at the top of their game for many, many years. I have to go through the history books to see how many times they've faced off in a final, but it is quite a few. I'm actually not sure who's got their nose in front with the amount of gold medals. I know you've been talking about double figures for both of these chaps. Oh, a little mistake there from the Swede. A uh, smile from him too. And Henrik, a very popular man amongst these athletes here. That's the only daddy with the blinkers. Henrik playing a little bit of safety there. Trying not to let Yoni have a clear run out. Henrik got to stay in this match. He is trailing two games to four. It's a race to five. Yoni. Yeah, just trying to keep the cue ball as close to the side rail as possible. Henrik only having the brown stripe to shoot at. The blue 10 is covered. The green 14 is also covered. Got to have a good shot here. Oh, tremendous. Uh, look at that position as well. Great shooting there. Missing a 14 there, allows Yoni back at the table. And the applause there was for Norway's Emil Andre Gangflot, who squares his matchup 6 6 with Germany's Juma Derner. Remember, Juma having a very, very commanding lead there 4 1 and 5 2. And a young Norwegian clawing his way back into it. That's the under 23 division. Yoni, I'm not sure if he kind of put that actually. Or was there a safety there? I think Henrik can see. The green 14 here. Or can he? Well, you see there a little slice of it. Not sure he can see enough to pot it. Thank you. 
Wow, jumping a quarter of that seven ball. What a shot has he snookered himself though. Can he see the eight? That would be wicked because that was a tremendous shot. Jumps a quarter of the seven, pots his own. And he snookered himself. Really, really unfortunate. He's got to make this. Eight ball to the corner, banking it. And that could be the end for the Swedish man. Five balls on the table for Yoni, and then the eight. Three solids and the eight ball. Yoni Dati. Putting the extension on his cue there. Make sure it's well screwed in. Good position for the seven, seven and eight now for the eight ball title for the Finn. There'll be a lot of Finns in here who will be happy tonight. It'll be their second gold medal of these championships. First one going to Kim Larksonen in the straight pole men's division. And Yoni Datti now with this eight ball for the wheelchair gold. It'll break those yellow and blue hearts behind him. Always a great rivalry here with Sweden and Finland in any sport. This is no different, trust me. Yoni Datti for the win. And he's done it. Finland's Yoni Dati wins the Dynamic Billiard European Pool Championships eight ball division in the wheelchairs. He's off to shake his hand. Uh, Henrik Larsson, of course, very, very disappointed. And Yoni, very, very happy indeed. Some good shooting there from the Finn. And this was a little mistake from Henrik. He got another bite at the cherry. And that was there. And this shot from Henrik jumping a quarter of that seven ball. Terrific shot. Just got a little unfortunate there. Made contact with the eight ball, but left the only the easiest task. And there. The Finn runs out. Another gold medal in the bag for Finland's Yoni Dati. So only one more match remaining, and that's over on table four in the under 23s. It is all squared 6-6. Six, six. They have a race to eight. The lion is awake. As we switch to table number four, Juma Döner at the table from Germany.
And we're still with a little problem on the table. The two and the three. I should have eliminated that problem now. He can take the three to the centre. The one ball is still being blocked by the eight ball, so he's got to think about that one. Just pointing to the table where he wants it. Just draw cue ball back there. He can take the one to the centre. He'll have the eight to the corner. He's got to get down far enough. Doesn't want to go too far, but he needs to get down far enough. Cannot afford to come up short here. Better come up a fraction long than a fraction short. And the other thing's just about perfect. To the centre, let cue ball hang around there for the eight. This to get on the hill. It's a race to eight in the under 23 division. Moderna on to the hill. 7 6 now leading over Norway's Emil Andre Gangflot. Juma having a commanding lead earlier in this match. He was 4 1 up, and then 5 2. But the Norwegian kept pegging him back. 6 6, but Juma now in the driving seat on the hill. Race to 8. 7 6 in the lead. Going to be having the award ceremonies very shortly after this last rack. If you are out there, stay tuned. You'll be able to see all the divisions receiving their respective medals. It's a silver day for the Polish. Mateusz Nojgoki losing out to Denis Laskowski. Olivia Zalewska losing out to Tina Vogelman. Just saw Yoni Dati win the wheelchair division. Emil Andre Gangflot breaking off to stay in the match. Oh, cue ball scratches. Wow. Wow, that is cruel. A nice break, but then the cue ball kicked into the corner. They say Paul is cruel. I certainly can be. Madonna using his extension. You see along the back wall there, some pictures from a few years ago of some of the players dressed up a little bit gangster style. And a lovely lady, Beth Sage, 
I made a project, I think it was around 2009. And uh, the top 32 players on the Euro Tour at the time were dressing up and doling out. A few nice ones there of uh, Nick Vandenberg, Hoji C, Niels Feyen, Daryl Peach, Darren Appleton. Even Carl Boys is up there. Marcus Schmidt, all the players who were at the top of their game back then. Some of them still are. Some of them retired. And some of them doing other things. It's been interesting. A lot of people trying to guess who they are. Had a bit of fun with that. But if you are listening, Beth, well, wow, pictures still being shown around. I think you should be most likely in bed or just waking up because you're living in Australia. Cue ball scratches and gets a kick off the five ball reprieve for Emil. What a reprieve. So close there for you, Moderna. Big, big mistake. thought his game was over scratching off the break I'm sure he did not expect to get back at the table hoped for sure but didn't expect this can you hold it together and get a hill hill thriller that would be a great way to finish this evening we've had some tremendous shooting first in the men's switched over to the wheelchair the women already had finished by then. And now we're here with the under 23s. Europe having an abundance of talent. A lot of work done by the federations to push this through. A lot of hard work. Working with the schools, education systems now. Really, really going well. Smart Paul is the new project, teaching mathematics in schools with a pool table. There'll be a nice article coming out after these championships regarding the Smart Pool project, so look out for that. We'll be posting it during next week, but it is a tremendous project. And if it's not in your country, then contact your federation and ask them why not. It is a great project. Teachers love it and pupils love it. But you'll hear more about that soon as we stay here. Emil and the Gangflot. The two and the six and then the eight ball to tie it up. We've got a Hill Hill final here in the under 23s, and Emil surely can't believe it. Trailing four games to one, five games to two, and at 6 6, 
he scratched. Oh, it's six, seven actually. Scratched, which allowed Yuma at the table. Then a big, big mistake from the young German. That was it. Just bumping into the orange five. Emil gets ball in hand. And clears the rack. 7-7 seven, seven now. This is a one-rack shootout. Neil Moderna with the advantage. He'll be breaking. But anything can happen in a one-rack shootout for gold medal. Has he got anything left? He's seen his lead evaporate a couple of times. What's he got left? This is a mind game now. You've got to hold it together. Mumrak shootout, gold medal. Yumaderna breaking. Wow, is that going to drop? And it's a dry break. What drama here in the final. I haven't watched this final all the way through, but I'm wondering how many dry breaks there's been. And if you ever want to see one and your opponent does it, it's at a hill hill time. Got to just plan his route here. Look at all the possible obstacles. Put it in gear. Start motoring. Eight balls away from a gold medal. to take the solids. What are low numbers? Still got a bit of positional work to do. He's calling his his extension now uh, still got a bit of positional work to do the three and four only go to the right corner pocket as we were just looking the other pocket blocked by the strike balls Did leave the cue ball precariously close to the nine. Got to be careful. Doesn't brush the nine on the way through with the cue. Yeah, quickly up there with the cue, you saw. He's on to the seven. Can let the cue ball roll through. Take the three to the corner or to the center, which will give him the four to the bottom left corner as we look. But it's all about controlling the cue ball. Getting the right position. Three object balls and the black eight for the gold medal. And certainly one 
that none of the Norwegians would have expected here. Trailing 4-1 and 5-2. Looked like he was dead and buried. Had a great fight back. Wants a cue ball roughly back where it is now if he can. Because I think the blue 10 is blocking it to the other corner. There's a cluster there stopping it to the middle. So position is key. Time. And that is perfect. This eight ball for the title and gold medal for Emil Andre Gangflot from Norway. What a comeback. Emil Andre Gangflot wins the gold medal in the under 23s, beating Germany's Juma Derna. Seven, eight games to seven. And there is emotion for you. He was out of this and he's made it back. Congratulations. Wow, what a great comeback there. They'll be talking about that for a long time yet. I hope you enjoyed that. We're going to bring the award ceremony to you, so stay tuned for that. And we'll be back. Hope you enjoyed it. All matches start again tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. You can watch all of those matches over at the EPBF website. For now, hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to go and do some other work and see you all soon. Bye-bye for now.